You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander for in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words to foreign lands and all will understand you shall see the face of God and live be the Lord be with you and with your spirit as we gather today we give thanks to God for the gift of faith for the message we have just heard is be not afraid it's the message we hear in the gospel today do not let your hearts be troubled and it's the message we all need to hear in these challenging times in these days of uncertainty as we ask God to help us to go beyond our fears and to live our faith Lord Jesus, for the times we have failed to live our faith fearlessly, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, for the times that we have lost our sense of hope, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, for those times when we were not brave and courageous enough to share your love, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God and on earth peace to people, to people of good
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the paschal mystery within us that those you have pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit in their lives and come to the joys of life eternal. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the numbers of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread and the numbers of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in scripture, behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith, but for those who without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone and a stone that will make people stumble and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as is their destiny. You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Friends, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, have I been with you for so long a time and still you do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Like all of you at home, I long for the day when all of us can be reunited, connected again in our churches. And I pray that as we all move forward together, striving to reopen our lives, that we will all gather together as one people and understand anew what oneness truly means. In the meantime, the words from a current playing TV commercial echo in my mind as we ponder today's gospel, a message that takes on a whole new sound and reality as we look back at the last couple of months of our lives. Think about those past weeks and days and hear these words from this commercial. It's going to be a long road but this is our chance to listen. To listen in the silence. I know that's how I feel here in this empty church. Our pews lacking you. But it makes me listen all the more so to the word of God being proclaimed to you and with you. And if you really listen to what Jesus is saying in today's Gospels, we learn invaluable lessons, precious truths in a new way. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. What a message we all need to hear at this particular time in history. Do not let your hearts be troubled. It's a variation on the earlier message that Jesus so often proclaimed to his followers, do not be afraid. And yet they still did not get it, as sometimes I think is the case with us. Here in the gospel today is Thomas, along with the other disciples, listening to the one to whom they have been listening to, now nearing the end of his public discourses. And after Jesus says those words, about how to follow him. How he is the way, the truth, and the life. How where I am going, you know the way. Thomas says to him, but we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? And that's where the words of Christ are so powerful. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. As we listen in the silence, here and at home, minus all of those ordinarily around us that sometimes can be a distraction, I hope we are hearing what God is saying to us. In this period of grand pause, the longest retreat, some call it, the reset, the time for us to focus on how we really are supposed to live our lives, we hear these words today. And they recall words that I think all at home will remember well. Questions that were asked of us as children by our teachers, our parents, our relatives, that echoed the words of the earliest catechism in the history of our country, the Baltimore Catechism. You remember the questions and the answers. I'll ask the questions and from home you answer them. Who made you? God made me. Why did God make you? To come to know him, to love him, and serve him in this world so as to be forever happy with him in the world to come. So simple, and yet we make it so complicated. And maybe in our efforts to complicate it, we've gotten so far from the simplicity of the truths of Christ that that's what the reset is all about. As we began Mass today, you heard that beautiful rendition of Be Not Afraid. Again, echoing 
the exact message of the gospel today. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And in that hymn, rendered in such amazing fashion, are these words. You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will understand. You shall see the face of God and live, so be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you rest. All of our lives we heard that message from our parents, especially our mothers, whom we honor today on Mother's Day. From our teachers who are supportive of our parents' role and are doing such extraordinary work in these days in new territory for them, teaching from a distance, together, even though apart. And all that they are doing is reflecting the love of God, always calming us down, taking us beyond the storms, showing us the path to peace and taking us beyond our fears so as to live our faith. All of life is a search for meaning and God is always there striving to offer it if we would just pause long enough and listen. Listen in the silence. But it's sometimes in the noise of life that those lessons come to life. And so allow me to close with a Reflection, the author is unknown, of what a mother's love is all about. A reflection of God's love. Taking us through every chapter of our lives. The worrisome and the joyful. The dark and the light. The ones that cause us great anxiety and the ones that take us on the path that we should follow. Listen to the words of this small reflection. A mother's love is what it is entitled there are times when only a mother's love can understand our tears, can soothe our disappointments, and calm all our fears. There are times when only a mother's love can share the joy we feel and something we've dreamed about quite suddenly is real. There are times when only a mother's love can build and help us up on life's way and inspire in us the confidence that we need from day to day. For a mother's heart and a mother's faith and a mother's steadfast love were fashioned by the angels and sent from God above. So yes, we gather in silence. But also that we might live amidst the noise, the distraction, the burdens, the worries and all that sometimes make us Forget the message. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Jesus says, have faith also in me. And we should, for it is his name that we bear by reason of our baptism. It's his love seen in our parents and all who love one another that helps us to go forward one day at a time, but always and ever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grateful for the precious gift of our faith. Let us profess the faith that takes us beyond all fear. The faith that does calm our troubled hearts and allows us to follow the way, the truth, and the life given to us to stay the course. So together, here and at home, we say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary 
and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Chosen as priestly people, we come to our Father on behalf of all of our sisters and brothers, praying through Christ the way, the truth, and the life. For the entire church, that we may be a holy nation, a people chosen by God as his own, as we announce the praises of him who called us out of darkness into his own wonderful light, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For national and civic leaders, that the Lord may inspire them with justice and right reason in their decisions and plans to serve the needs of all peoples during these challenging times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our mothers and grandmothers, that God may bless and strengthen them on this Mother's Day giving them good health to continue being his fruitful instruments of love in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened with illnesses of any kind, that Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life, may heal and comfort them, filling them with hope and joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our faithfully, faithful departed, especially Greg Johnson and Danut Krivikis, who died recently, that all of our beloved may enjoy eternal rest and peace with Jesus in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. Lord, hear us and help us. Guide us and guard us that we may embrace the way, the truth, and the life that is your Son, in whose name we pray, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. With you now, my friends, that our sacrifice may always be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May you, Lord, Lord, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise and glory, glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice 
have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And together let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and it is just. It is our privilege, our duty, and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord God, Almighty Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. And therefore, filled with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as together we all acclaim. you are indeed holy. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Proclaim your Lord. death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her blessed spouse, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and give praise and glory to you forever through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Was the way, the truth, and the life who taught us how to pray. And so with grateful hearts together we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but rather upon the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My friends, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the risen one present in our midst. How blessed we all are to be called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body and blood of Christ, bring us all to everlasting. Oh. 
Let us pray. O Lord, graciously be present to your people and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways of life to newness of the graces of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you today and every day. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ends. May our living of our faith continue as we go forward in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. 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 Oh